Welcome back, everyone. This is episode 69. Is it six? I think this is episode 69. So, yeah, we got our soil samples back, so let's take a look at it. I'm not very happy with it, but it's not bad. I mean, we have a lot of loam up here. A little bit of silty clay, which I don't like. That's the part I'm not happy about. But overall, it's going to be a really good fill because there's only a little bit of uh, loamy sand and then the rest is sandy loam. So the majority of the field is loam and um, sandy loam. So that's going to be really good. I wish there was less loamy sand, but it does kind of die down more this way. But it looks like from up here, so like if I had to guess, this area down through here would be all silty clay. And then all of this area right in through here. Like this area, all is a loom because all this loom coming down here. But you do see a little bit of silty clay popping in here in little places. So I'm kind of glad we're not using this ground as a field. But there is like a lot of loamy through here from the looks of it. Or loam, I guess. But on up this way, I feel like up in here it could get better. Because like this is just the top part of the loam. So maybe we expand up this way because we do have a little bit of room before we run into that. And like this area up here is probably going to be mostly silty clay, but for a grass field, I'm not really worried about that too much. I mean, it would be nice to have loam, obviously, to get more grass yield, but we get three cuts of grass a year, so it's not really that bad. So, anyway, let's go ahead and bump this pH up. I mean, already it's already okay. So I don't know if this is really going to do much. I mean, it does bump it up a little bit. For some reason, I can't get it to get perfect anymore. If we come over here and look at this field, it's not perfect either. It's like, okay. I mean, I, for some reason, I can't get this to hit perfect. So, I don't know why that is. But, yeah, I guess it, it just is what it is, I guess. I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I have the sensors and whatnot. It just won't get up to perfect. So, yeah, I don't know. But eventually, whenever we own more land, I'm going to put a road in between these two fields. Let's go into the build mode here. If it'll let me get in. There we go. So, there'll be a road up between here, and then... I don't know, we might expand. I mean, we can't really expand that far, so maybe we'll just keep this field here. But I really do want to knock down all these trees up here and expand this grass field out to about here, because that's like almost four times the size of it is right now so I really need to get on and start working on all this logging all of this logging will probably be done off camera but I think I want to wait before I do that to get oh yeah and another thing I might put in a slurry tank right here like a couple slurry tanks just to store some slurry because I don't know how much that car, uh, cow barn will hold so that could be an issue but I want to wait until we get the sawmill where's the sawmill at I want to wait till this guy's empty so we can move it before I start putting all of those trees in there because it's going to take forever. And then I guess what I could do, I could just place down a new sawmill and do that way since I'm going to be selling that one off anyway. So that is an option actually. But we'll see. But yeah, most of that stuff will obviously be done off camera because it's going to take forever to knock down all them trees. And you guys already saw me knock down a lot of trees, so i rather stick more to the farming stuff on camera. I mean, maybe a time-lapse video on it, but even then, I'm not really sure about. So, that could be in the near future. I'll probably ask Stone Cold if he'll help me, because that's you know, a lot of work that needs to be done. So, I'm kind of kind of see how that all plays out. But, yeah, I mean... We do have this big dip here, which I don't really like in this field. I don't know if you guys can... Oh, wow, yeah, that's like, holy cow. That's a very big dip. Maybe I should, um... We should probably fix that. I didn't realize how big of a dip that was. The only thing is, that's really gonna... We're gonna have to go ahead and redo the soil sampling and plow all of this. But that is like a big dip down right there. I don't want to try to do just what I have to do to do what I need to do. I mean, that doesn't look horrible. Oh yeah, that's a big difference. Alright, let's fix that as well. 
should have did this sooner, but I didn't really notice it until we were doing the soil sampling. But it'll be alright, because we own the soil sampler now, so it won't be that hard to come out here and just take one soil sample on this. Standing in the way of what I want to do. Ooh, this right here has like a big dip. But yeah, that's not bad if we. Oh, yeah, that good? It doesn't look bad, so I'll just replow this area. It won't be that hard to do. So it'll be fairly easy. Make sure that looks. It looks like there's a little bit of a different here. But nothing crazy. You know, fields are going to be like that. So, I just didn't want that huge, huge dip like that. That was not very good. So, I bet. Well, I mean, it still shows our soil. So, maybe we don't have to redo the soil sampling. Let's grab this guy. Well, I'm going to get that fixed and finish up liming. I'll have to go back over and rewind that probably. And then I'll probably spread some slurry on that as well, get some slurry put down. And then after that, it'll probably be time to get into um, sunflower and sugar beet harvest. So we'll get that going. We'll get some of that done. That'll be fun. Spread some of our slurry. I'll probably wait till we make some more money before I landscape all of this area because that's like a really, really big hill and it's probably going to cost a lot of money to flatten it all out. So I'll probably come, let's see, I'll probably be going to build more, it'll probably be easier to show. So I'll come off of this road right here, flatten all the way back and then make this area, make it flat with this. So it'll kind of be flat with this area right here, this road and flat with this one because this is pretty much the same height almost so we'll just flatten it out this way so we'll be able to kind of pull in this way and like wrap around and then there'll be like some little storage tanks for slurry and maybe even the mirror but there's not really that much room here uh, if we look in we'll be under silos let's see are these fermenting silos um, 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 let's see, where's the little slurry silo at? What is this? Central warehouse? Oh, it even does... Wow. I was wondering where this was. This is under silos. Hmm. That's kind of cool. Maybe I'll look into that, but it's kind of expensive. We already have a place like that. So there's this liquid manure place. That's actually not that big. I don't know how much it holds though. Um, and there's this one that holds two million liters. So we'll probably just honestly throw like one or two of these in here. This should do digestate as well. So whenever we start getting some digestate, oh, that's a nice silo. Look at that. That's a cool little silo. I've added in so many mods and haven't really been in here and looked at any of them. Got all these, got them, got them. Any other? Who's this guy? That's a. Yeah, that wouldn't be really enough. So, yeah, maybe we put in that little one or maybe the bigger one. It really just depends. We'll see what we want to do. I want to know how much the other one holds. Probably have to watch a video on that, but. I'm going to go ahead and get this taken care of and fixed up, and then I'll see you guys whenever it's time for something else. Alright, let's go grab our sunflower header, because sunflowers are ready. Same thing with sugar beets. We're going to have so many sugar beets. We're going to have so much sugar, that means we're going to have a lot of money. So, that's good. Let's go take care of these... Uh, sunflowers real quick we will um we'll probably we'll do some of it because you know i haven't been doing harvesting lately on screen so i'm so a little bit of harvesting here probably until i get a uh, hopper full or harvester full i guess you could say we have this guy over here cutting the grass again we're probably just going to do all side 
trying to think. We do have a decent amount of hay, but we also have a ton of silage as well. So I don't know if we really need to do any um, hay or silage. But silage we can sell for a lot of money. So well, not really a lot of money, but we can get a lot of silage and it sells for a pretty good price. Four times as much as hay, so silage would be the way to go to make some quick money. We already have silage in storage and 300,000 liters of grass turning into silage, so I don't know if I want to do silage or if I want to do hay. It's really, really tough. But we'll figure it all out once we get to picking it up. Well, looks like I'm not very good with this. I don't keep missing some stuff. Yeah, so the silage is not too bad. It's really pretty good. We're up to 2,500 liters, not bad. The level bug is yielding as good as it was last year from the end of the bottom left corner, but still not terrible. I'm not good at that, it's actually doing worse than last year, but it's not good to do. So, we will get this harvested here, and make sure you guys are smashing that like button and subscribing to the channel if you haven't yet. Also, down in the description is the link to the Discord, so if you're not on the Discord yet, make sure you go down there and check out the Discord. I think we're up to like 120 people on the Discord, so that's really cool. Let's see if we can't get up there at 200 Discord members. It's all free to join. Discord is free to download and free to join, so it's all free to do so. Same thing with subscribing and leaving a like, it's all free. Knockout. Knock this little bit out. If I don't do it now, I'll probably forget about it because there's just so much stuff to do on this map. There's a ton of stuff to do. It'd be cool to kind of turn this map into a multiplayer, but the amount of mods I have on here would be impossible to go through them all and only put in the mods I'm actually using or whatnot. It'd probably be a lot of mods. So, probably won't do that, but it would be really cool to turn this into a multiplayer at some point because of how much work there needs to in this map. It just takes so long to record a video. I've been on here for two hours so far and I have ten minutes recorded. I mean I guess I could record more of the off camera stuff but it's just like taking care of greenhouses and delivering milk or whatnot to the productions and um, slurring and lining and climbing and you know, not really much climb but climbing the things. Or cutting the grass which you guys see every probably episode at this point. So it's like it's, there's a lot of stuff that I could record me doing, but then again, like a lot of stuff you guys have already seen like a thousand times, and other people do the same stuff, so it's like, do you guys really want to see me cut the grass every single episode? Probably not. And you pick it all up and all that good stuff. Because that would take up, I could just do a whole episode of just me cutting the grass. I want it to. It's, not that it takes long or anything, I just... Yeah. It's actually fairly easy to cut the grass. Making the hay that kind of takes longer because then you got a wind drain and a teddy to wind drain, so it's kind of a longer process, but it's not too bad. So we're almost full, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to let it work and go on this. I'm going to go grab a trailer and a tractor. Get this unloaded. I think we're going to put the fence on. Oh shoot, I was going to use that because it was a little bit quicker. We'll grab the class. We'll put the fence on the sugar beet harvester setup. It has a little bit more horsepower and it's a little bit newer of a tractor, so it won't take too much repairs afterward. The tractor is the most hours on it. They'll probably be moved to, you know, just like feeding jobs and just smaller jobs that you don't really need horsepower for. Like fertilizing, lining, carving, uh, 
picking up grass, stuff like that. It doesn't really, you know, even pairs really to do that. Now if it's pulling a plow or seeing a plant in the air, it's going to be pairs so that you're not taking care of it. It's going to be burning and like slowly and whatnot. If that makes sense. I don't know if I repaired, I don't think I repaired the um, header. I probably should have repaired the header, but there you go, it's kind of too late now. We're going to do another round of sunflowers as well. So I'm going to get some more sunflowers. Speaking of this bird, I'm going to just kind of like try to do this bird. I'm going to put my phone on this bird. I don't know I want to do stuff, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to keep it up with this bird. That's a shame that I can't draw this fast as this thing kind of so I can't just do it. I'm not the hands of him, so I'm going to hit the birds and I'm going to do speed and So realistic. If you came to see a realistic video, this is probably well. I mean, I do some realistic stuff, but yeah, not on here because everything takes so long. And really, the only thing we do fast farming wise on here is harvesting currently. But I may look into getting some weights and whatnot added in here to make fast farming a little bit more. Because all the equipment we have right now, I'm pretty sure we can fast farm with it, maybe. I don't know, yeah, everything we should be able to, maybe not like liming and fertilizing, but that doesn't take long anyway. But, I know the planter should and the cedar will, and, um, where's this guy, there we are. Yeah, probably either the plow, we don't do too much plow, we don't want to be buying a piece of land or whatnot. So let's grab this guy right here. And we'll go ahead and get to cutting some beets. I'm kind of curious how many beets we get off of this field. It's going to be a lot. It's going to take a very long time to get this done. I probably will not get this done today. I'll probably have to finish recording the rest of the episode tomorrow. But I'm doing a multiplayer live stream tonight. I'm recording this Wednesday. I don't think it comes out until like next Monday, so I'm pretty far ahead, honestly, in recordings. Once a video is posted, I'll try to do another video, so I'm kind of like two videos ahead right now, which it's always good to be ahead because once I fall behind, it's like really hard for me to catch back up due to like, especially if I'm starting a new live stream series or something like that because it takes a while to set all that stuff up, like, a lot of people don't understand how much time it takes to like really set this stuff up unless you're a content creator yourself and you kind of understand, but, I mean, I don't want to say my setup time takes forever. But it doesn't take forever, just certain things can take a pretty decent amount of time. I know other content creators know exactly what I'm talking about. For the viewers, you know, you guys want to see what happens on the camera, but you don't get to see what happens behind the camera. So some people don't understand the amount of time it takes to actually do this type of stuff. PC players, they have it made now because they have the F11, so it's kind of easier to get stuff set up and going for them since they have F11 which hopefully I'll be able to get a PC pretty soon and I'll be able to have that advantage so it won't take as long and I won't complain less but I'm not complaining it may sound like I'm complaining but you know I like this and I love playing this game so I'm not complaining at all just for those of you out there who don't understand I'm just trying to shine some light on content creators because you might think that life is all easy and whatnot, but some stuff actually does take a very long time. I know for my 1k, what I'm doing for that, that probably took me, oh boy, probably, it took, I had help, so Stone Cold, Justin, Rob, and I feel like somebody else was on there one day helping me, I can't remember who it was exactly, maybe it was just Stone Cold, Justin, Rob. It took multiple days, multiple times, going on that map and doing stuff because, you know, it's just, you can't sit there for 30 hours and just do anything, but, yeah, it took, I don't mind, I want to say, us four, uh, half the time, most of the time it was just me and 
Justin and Stone Cold. Sometimes it was just me and Stone Cold, and then one time Rod hopped in and helped out. Probably took. Mm, let's say. I don't want to exaggerate it at all, but it was a lot. I would say probably like 25 hours to 30 hours, maybe, give or take. Maybe more than that. And that was with three to four people helping out, so. Yeah, some stuff really. Oh, I didn't turn it over. Some stuff really does take a lot of time, so. I wish you guys would appreciate it. It's great content creators out there. There is a lot of them. I don't know why I just got into a rant about that, but probably because this map takes me a lot of time to set down in my house. Anyway, let's talk. Well, I'm kind of going over, but I'm already up to the last report. I'm going to the last report. It's 10 minutes, and it's only 22 minutes, so. Honestly, I'll probably, um. Harvest this all off camera. It's gonna be really fun keeping up with this guy. I'll probably just drive along the side of him the whole time and then pick up the grass later. I just wanted to get it cut so it would be done with and it wouldn't wither because winter's coming. So I wanted to just get it off the get it off the and get it done with. But I'll probably honestly finish up this entire floor. So probably get that all done. Bring you guys back in, kind of let you guys know the yield that we got, and then probably that'll, that'll call it an episode after that. But I want to see if sometimes in case I have something else I'm going to rant about or go over and talk about. So I'm going to get to work on harvesting these beets, and I will see you guys probably after I get all this completed, I think. Oh, I'm not even trying this. Eventually in the future it would be nice to get a sugar beet harvester itself, but that would be expensive. What's on sale? What if there's a sugar beet harvester on sale? That'd be kind of funny. Ooh, look at that. We already own one of them. We don't really need any of that stuff, so yeah. I'm going to go ahead and put in a cut here and I'll see you guys whenever I see you guys. Alright, so we got 147,000 meters off of this bill, not too bad. So we'll go ahead and put these in here, and then we'll get them transported over to the... Ooh, that hurt. We're going to transport it over to the other place. I may actually just put that on distributing. Let's just do that. That'll work better. So, yeah. Everything's harvested. Oh, my screechy chair. It's weird because I've been sitting here all day and it's barely been screeching. And then as soon as I want to start recording, it screeched. So, yeah, new chair is definitely going to be in the process. Uh, the process is me going downstairs and grabbing a chair that I think will be comfortable to sit in. And it doesn't help that I'm going to do a pretty long stream tomorrow. You guys will already know about that. That's going to be happening on the 5th. So, tomorrow. For me today's the fourth where is the beat cutter at um, 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 um there she is that on distributing perfect all right so that will get distributed to the sugar mill and i know this is going to be a little bit shorter but i think we're going to go ahead and call it quits here because our good friend um stone cold he's going live right now at the time of me recording so i'm going to actually probably just wrap up and Head over there and check out his stream. And if you guys haven't checked out Stone Cold, make sure you guys go check him out. He helps out the channel a lot, and he is a great friend of mine. He makes some pretty good content as well. So make sure you guys go check him out. I gotta go check out Stone Cold. Or well, if you just pop into a stream, his link will be all over the place because I tend to push out a lot of channels on the stream. So if you're looking for new channels, Make sure you guys check out the live streams. But anyway, well, actually what I'll do, I'll probably pick up that grass off camera. So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and end this. It's a little bit shorter, I know. Sorry about that. But it'll be all right. We'll get some more stuff done next time. And there may even be a special surprise in that video next time. So, we'll see how that all works out. Hopefully, I can do it. If not, then no biggie. But I'm going to try. So, make sure you guys smash that like button. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel. And if you're not a member of the Discord, make sure you guys get over there and join the Discord. It's all free to do so. And thanks for watching.